What's shaking? It's MPS from Wix Training Academy here, and today I am delivering you a video about how to add page restrictions in a member login to your Wix website. Listen, I'm ready to dive into the content. I'm sure you are too, but if you haven't already joined our Wix Nation community, I would love to have you in here. We would love to have you in here. It all starts by clicking that subscribe button, turning those bell notifications on, and you'll instantly join a thriving Wix Nation community. In fact, the largest global Wix training community here on the internet. I look forward to seeing you active and engaged around the community, but until then, let's go ahead and jump into today's content. And oh, by the way, is it just me? Uh, ladies out there, I know this isn't as big of a deal for you, but my hair just continues to get longer and longer since I can't go get a haircut for quarantine. All the gentlemen out there watching this video and ladies too, if you have that same problem, comment and let me know. I just want to make sure I'm not alone in this. Let's jump in. All right, guys, so we're here in the editor. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to do two things in this video. I'm going to show you how to add a Wix member login first, and then what I'm going to do is going to show you how to member lock or page add page restrictions to select pages. Now, here's the thing that you need to know. There are two ways to go about creating a member login. You can use the Wix universal member login, which is what we are going to do in this video, or you can create your own custom member login, which is basically meaning you don't have to use Wix's universal login. You can design and build out your own login for your members. If you'd like to learn how to do that and create the custom registration along with it, I will go ahead and throw the cards up above to the two videos I did. And I've actually done several videos on that to show you how to create a custom registration and custom login if that's the process you'd like to take. But what I'm going to show you first and foremost is how to add that login and it's the universal Wix login. What you're going to do is you're going to go to this add button. When you get there, you're going to scroll down to members and then you're going to click add to site. So what this is going to do is it's going to add a members area to your site. What's pretty cool about this is Wix works its magic. And then what it's going to do is it's going to actually activate a member site and it takes you here. So when you add the members area, rather than the old system in Wix, you had to simply add each element in, you actually get an entire member suite now. It comes preloaded with a member profile card, a member menu, uh, my account information, and then voila your login bar is added directly to the header in your Wix website. And that's it. So just with the simple click of add a members area in Wix, you have now added a member login and registration function. So if I signed out, it would say register slash login. And if I sign in, it'll take us here. And you can see when I click on this, it takes us, we don't need that up. If you click the little menu, it shows the members menu here. So it's a drop down of the members menu. So all of the pages that are specifically in your member profile account, and then you can log out and you can log in. If I log out, obviously I can't do this right now because I'm in my preview mode, not publish mode, but you log out and then you can log back in or register. And that's how you add the member login. And that is the Wix universal member login to your website. Now, if you would like to member lock your pages or add page restrictions, here's how to do it. If you go up here to your menus and pages, you can go to add a new page. Whoops, this is our menu page or our uh, member page. I don't want to add a new page there. I'm going to go to our regular site menu. I'm going to press add page. By the way, if you do add a page to your member pages, they are only active and visible in those member pages. So on that my account page, in that member menu, those are the only way you'll be able to access those pages. So if you do want to make it specifically for the members, you can add it in those member pages. However, if we press new page here, what you would do is you would click on these three little dots and then you would go to settings. When you get into settings, you'll go to permissions. Now, this is where you have the ability to add some page restrictions. If you choose everyone, this means anyone and everyone 
that comes to your site will be able to view this page. If you choose password pa uh, holders, typically this is done for like an admin end of your website. Here's why you typically wouldn't do this for like a member exclusive page, because that means you now need a way to deliver all of the members that password and what stops someone from sharing that password with someone else. So I don't ever recommend having a password protected page for member purposes. This is good for admin purposes. Maybe you've got a back end admin dashboard and they need a password. One of the admins or site managers needs a password to be able to access that page. That's what this is good for. And you can set a password right here. And then a password is needed and prompted when someone tries to access that page. And then lastly, we have members only. This is where we get to get more sophisticated with who has access to what pages. If we choose members only, this means that a person has to be a member of your website. And if they're not, it will prompt them to register to become a member before they can even access this page. However, if we take a step further, we've got even more access than that. So you can choose right here which members can access this page. If it's all members, that means anyone who's a member on your site can access this page. Or you can change it and select only selected or paying customers. So for instance, if you've got an online course or you've got a membership style website where you post content specific to paying members and you've created a Wix paid plans, I'll throw a card to that video above as well. You can choose to have it only give access to those particular members with that particular membership tier in that plan. Or if you want to change it up, you can actually add member roles in your Wix dashboard and give certain members certain roles. Maybe you've got like a silver tier and this might not even be payment. You might have like silver tier members, freedom members, whatever that may look like. And you can divvy up what members get what pages based on their user roles or their paid plan, whatever membership payment plan they're in. And you can change that right here by going to admins or you can create a new plan in paid plans. And then the last thing I want to direct your attention to is manage site members. If you click this, you can actually come into your dashboard and you can manage your site members right here. And it gives you the ability to view all of your active members. You can come in here, you can see pending members. So this is if you require approval before a member actually gets activated. Blocked members, you can come in here, set permissions uh, for certain members. You can add roles. This is what I was talking about in terms of user roles. Uh, you can create badges now. They have a badge system. So, you know, like a star member or a community moderate, moderator, you could add badges like that. And then lastly, sign up settings. So if you click sign up settings, you can choose when people register to become a member of your site, does everyone get approved and they're instantly registered? Or do you want to approve people manually before you give them access to whatever's on the other side of that member wall? And if that's the case, you would choose only people I approve manually, and then you would click OK. And then just like that, you've got a member system with a member page, my account page, a login plus page restrictions and you can restrict pages based off of different membership permissions, different membership roles, or even different membership payment tiers depending on if you have a Wix paid plans and you're charging members. And that is how it's done. Hey, if this video helped you out, I would kindly ask that you drop a like down below. Comment and let me know if this video helped you out if you need anything else regarding the members section or area of your Wix website. And lastly, I want you in this Wix Nation community. Collectively as a community, we want you in it. And it all starts by hitting that subscribe button, turning those bell notifications on so you never miss any content here on the channel because I'm churning out some wonderful content and hopefully it's been helpful to you. And plus, you'll join an engaging interactive community as well as the largest global Wix training community here on the internet. I want you to be a part of that. We want you to be a part of it. We're a family. We're a community here. And I'm excited to see you more active and present in this community once you click that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on. Other than that, let that hair grow out. It's okay. We're quarantined anyway. I appreciate it. I hope you're staying safe and healthy, and I'll catch you on our next video.